Welcome to Prague, where it's currently a bank holiday weekend. And congratulations, America, on electing a smart president. And yes, I have to admit that I have a significantly diminished opinion of politics compared to science. However, one structure functions within the other. Put simply, there is no point in emphasizing scientific understanding and how it has transformed our civilization if, while you're doing it, fundamentalist religious thoughts gain power and render any scientific advances moot. Sarah Palin was, of course, a nightmare in this respect. I mean, just take, for instance, her scoffing at fruit fly research, the cornerstone of modern genetics. Forecasting the future is difficult. However, historically, instability and populist leaders are a very bad combination. America is in a very tough corner at the moment. Record spending, two overseas wars, and the credit hole equal to about a third of the US federal budget. Put simply, I think Palin is still potentially hazardous. Extant Dodo has been suspended again, for what I'm guessing is another bogus DMCA claim from some religious fundamentalist type. Extant, you are welcome to use this channel to put up a message if you want. The crazy thing is, the last time I was in contact with Extant Dodo, it was clear that they had real lawyers working for them. The typical creationist pattern of behavior seems to be ignore all laws until someone is thinking about actually bringing a lawsuit against you, then try to lie and threaten your way out of trouble. Which brings us to PCS, that's poster boy for creationist stupidity. Number two top rated of all time in education, PCS. You should be very proud. And yeah, I know it was number one for a long time. However, even at that, many have commented that he needs another bitch slap to keep him in place. However, I'm not so sure. You see, PCS has now expended his remit to the most popular spokesman for intelligent design on YouTube. God made the heavens and the earth, and uh, you're going to make a very fine creationist one day if you use your intellect. You know, the reason they call it intelligent design is because the people who believe it are intelligent. God bless you guys. Bravo, Venom, bravo. I knew there was a damn good reason why I didn't want you banned. I can assure you that while Poster Boy for Creationist Stupidity's ego will be positively soiling his britches with delight at this title, the Discovery Institute, and that's the hub of the intelligent design movement, will have gone white with fear. You see, the whole of the intelligent design movement was based around trying to rephrase creationism without any mention of God. God made the heavens and the earth, and uh, you're going to make a very fine creationist one day if you use your intellect. You know, the reason they call it intelligent design is because the people who believe it are intelligent. God bless you guys. Fantastic. PCS has essentially blown up the house of cards that was intelligent design. Well, at least within the media window of YouTube. Having said that, intelligent design has sort of been a moot issue for the last several years since its humiliating rout at the Dover trial where the judge found it to be just a rewording of creationism and based in religion and not science. However, PCS joining their cause is certainly fantastic news. As for his recent little spat with Goat where PCS essentially goads and outrageously misquotes Goat until he throws up his hands in despair, then claims Goat is attacking his personality. So, what is this guy's defense to these claims? You are a smart person, Sean. It's not uh, a lot of atheists would like to think that you're just really, really, really stupid. What it is is you're really, really dishonest. You are a bad person. You are a bad person. You are a bad person. Attacking my character instead of responding to the points, that's called an ad hominem attack. PCS, I think the ship has sailed on your ability to play the high moral ground card. I mean, we all know that you're borderline psychotic. <laughs> if not four-star batshit crazy. Thunderfoot, are you trying to blackmail me? Thunderfoot, Thunderfoot, are you... Are you trying to blackmail me? But even you must realize that calling you a liar is like calling shit smelly. I mean, remember this? I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings, both in emails to Thunderfoot and in my videos. I apologize for lying to Thunderfoot and to all of those whom I have deceived. As for bitching about ad hominems? Oh, really? Let me remind you. 
So I'm trying to keep level-headed about this, and if you've been giving out my private information, please, please stop. Uh, I don't know if you're trying to get me killed, or if you're just being a jerk, but please cut that out, yeah? Because I've been seeing videos please getting posted. Don't give out my info anymore if you've been doing that. I don't know for sure. I can't confirm it, but if you have, and you know if you have, uh, man, like, that's the lowest of the low. That's like... That's like scary, scary stuff. 17th okay. of September, I speculated that Thunderfoot had maliciously disseminated my personal information and that this action might result in the death of myself or my family. I now accept that Thunderfoot has never disseminated any personal information relating to me or anyone else. Further, I accept that it would have been impossible for him to have done so as he's only ever received my first and my last name from YouTube and that he intentionally did not request any further details. I accept that my speculation was an abominable attempt to vilify the character of the men who I had filed baseless DMCA infringement claims against. I apologize to Thunderfoot for this. As for me, I'm currently earning my daily crust at the moment and don't have much time for this sort of thing. Indeed, the only reason I managed to put these videos together at all is because it's a bank holiday weekend here in the Czech Republic and the weather's not been particularly nice. Got some neat ideas for the new year though.